Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark Williams, and I'm that vitamin B12 injection guy, because it's worth a shot. Stop! Stop it! All right, today I'm gonna talk about folate. It's never too late to learn about folate. Folate is essential for brain function, for red blood cell production, for amino acid metabolism, and for DNA synthesis. Vitamin B12, B6, and B9 work together to control blood levels of the amino acid homocysteine. High levels of homocysteine are associated with heart disease. And because folate, vitamin B9, is so integral to the way vitamin B12 works that they need each other. So if you're consuming a lot of vitamin B12 through supplements or through injections, if you don't have enough folate to go along with that, the vitamin B12 injections really won't be that powerful or effective. So my goal is to make your vitamin B12 injections or your vitamin B12 shots as effective as possible. So in order for that to happen, we have to make sure our folate levels are also high enough where it can be effective. Because I just don't want us to think that we can just do vitamin B12 injections, vitamin B12 shots, and then we're good to go. Like that'll just cure everything. And that's not the case necessarily. That will um, definitely help your vitamin B12 deficiency, but it might not cure it if we don't have enough folate to go along with it, or if, we, if our blood sugar levels are just sky high, if we're eating a lot of junk food, if we're not sleeping well, then the vitamin B12 injections won't be nearly as effective as they could be. So I want us to make sure that, yes, let's get our vitamin B12, but at the same time, like we have to make sure these other things are in place in order for that vitamin B12 to be super effective and to get our body back to 100%. Foods that contain folate, asparagus, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, spinach, leafy greens, peas, avocados. See a pattern here? Because I'm green, isn't it? Bell peppers citrus fruits, nuts and seeds, papaya, bananas, legumes, eggs, beets, beef liver, wheat germ. So not only are these foods rich in folate, but they also contain other nutrients and vitamins that will improve your body's overall health. So how do you get a folate deficiency? One way is that you don't eat enough foods that contain folate. So your leafy greens, your citrus fruits, your legumes, your beans. So if you're not eating enough of these things, then it's definitely possible that you could end up with a folate deficiency. Another way is if you drink a lot of alcohol. Alcohol can affect our intestines to the point where we're just not as easily able to absorb folate. So that's definitely another potential cause. And then another cause would be that your small intestine just isn't working properly the way it should be. People with celiac disease uh, can experience this where they're just not able to absorb nutrients such as folate. Okay, so how do you treat a folate deficiency? So the first thing I would do, eat a lot of leafy greens, green vegetables, Try to consume it the natural way, through foods, get your vitamins that way. If that doesn't work, then I would switch to a supplement that you swallow, see if that works. If that doesn't work, then I would move to a sublingual underneath your tongue supplement that you absorb into your bloodstream underneath your tongue. If that doesn't work, then I would move to injections. So I would start with the most natural, least invasive way possible, and then just progressively move towards injections and see if any of those things work along the way. All right, I hope this helps you understand a little bit more about folate. Just remember, it's never too late to learn about folate. See you next time. <laughs>